Welcome to our lecture online. I'm always amazed how many different ways they're able to ask questions on the JE advanced test. And here's another one of those very interesting questions in thermodynamics. It deals with heat conductivity. And let's read it together. It says two rectangular blocks having identical dimensions can be arranged either in configuration one or in configuration two as shown. One of the blocks has thermal conductivity K and the other one 2K. So the other one is twice the thermal conductivity of the first one. The temperature difference between the ends along the x-axis is the same for both configurations. So high and low temperature is the same on both sides of the two configurations. And it takes nine seconds to transport a certain amount of heat in configuration one. Then the time to transport the same amount of heat in configuration two is and they give us four possible answers, two seconds, three seconds, four and a half seconds, or six seconds. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, they tell us that a certain amount of heat travels through configuration one in nine seconds, and it's a two layer system. So the equation there is as follows. So for configuration one, we can say that the QDT is equal to the cross-sectional area times the difference in the temperature divided by, and since we have two layers, this will be L over K for the first layer plus L over 2K for the second layer. Like this. Now notice they both have the same length, same cross-sectional area, and then delta T is a total temperature difference. So in the denominator we can find the common denominator. We can write this as A times delta T divided by uh, that would be 2L plus L over common denominator of 2K, like this. And that would be 3L, so we can write this as A delta T divided by 3L over 2K. And so this can be written as 2A delta T K divided by 3L. So this is the heat flow, the rate of heat flow through configuration one. Now we'll do the same for configuration two. So for configuration two, we now have two possible paths. So there we can say that dq dt will be equal to path one plus path two, whatever the equation is for each of the two paths. We simply have to add them together. And so this will be equal to cross-sectional area times the difference in the temperature divided by L over K and plus for the second one that would be A delta T divided by L over 2K. We need a 2K here. So I guess what I could do is I could write it like this. This might be a little bit easier. So this is equal to bringing the K up. I could write this as A delta T K over L plus bring the 2K up we have A delta T K over uh, L as well. So now they have the same common denominator that makes it easier. So we, uh, wait a minute, that's 2K. I have a 2K up here, 2K like this. And now we can simply say they have the same common denominator. We add the numerators. So end up with A or 3A delta T times K written like that over L. So now we have the heat flow through the second configuration. So now we can say that Q1, the amount of heat going through the first con configuration, must be equal to Q2. So the amount of heat flowing through both is the same, just the time will be different. And so we can say that Q1 will be dQ dt the, for 1 times the time for 1 equals the dQ dt, the heat flow for configuration 2, times the time for two. And of course, that's the one we don't know. We're trying to figure that one out. So plugging in what we know. So for the first one, we have 2A delta T K divided by 3L. And the time, they tell us the conf configuration one is nine seconds, equals dQ dt for the second one is 3A delta T K divided by L and the time would be T2, and that's what we're looking for. Now for simplification, notice that the L's cancel out, the A's cancel out, the delta T cancels out, and the K cancels out. 
So essentially, we have 9 divided by 3, which is uh, 3 divided times 2, which is 6, equals to 3t2, or t2 equals 6 divided by 3, which is 2. And so the answer is 2 seconds. And coming up here, that means that the answer would be choice A. So 9 seconds for, config for configuration 1, and 2 seconds for configuration 2. Again, the way to do it is you find your dq, dt for the first configuration. It's a double layer. And then the dq, dt for the second conf configuration, which is simply an addition of the dq, dt for each of the two. You get an answer for that. And then you set the amount of heat transfer t transported through t both of them the same. The only difference between the two is the time. And of course, the dq, dt for each is different. You plug in the DQDTs for each, you have the time for each, 9 seconds for the first one, a known number of uh, seconds for the second one, solve for T2, and out pops the answer. And this looks like it's actually possible to do this one in 3 minutes, if you hurry. Well, you actually did it in 6. <laughs> in the review, you, you know. Yeah. But you talked a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, if you want to take your time and carefully do it, it takes probably about four or five minutes at the least. So yeah, you're hard pressed to do it in three minutes. But that is how it's done.